Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's video is sponsored by a company called Fomemo. Um, so they reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I would be interested in um, reviewing their thermal printer. So I looked, obviously I looked at their kind of website and their Instagram page and it looked like something I could definitely use in my Stalogy, so I um, said sure I would be interested in trying it out and giving my honest feedback. Um, so if you've never heard of this company before, um, they basically make like thermal printers which means it doesn't use ink um, and the company's name is Fomemo so I think it's like photos and memory keeping maybe, um, something to do with that. So. The th cool thing about this is that it prints directly onto um, sticker paper and it comes with an app and it's like super easy to use. So I have kind of been playing around with it a little bit in my planner already. Um, so this is one of the images I printed of my daughter. Um, as you can see it's black and white. Um, I don't think they do colour printing yet anyway. And it's kind of got this really nice vintage kind of grainy look. Um, now I do want to say that of course because it is like thermal printing, um, they will fade over time. So I think they come, like what they do is they do have different papers. So the one I've got, um, I think, yeah, it's two year paper. Um, but they do have other ones that are like 10 years, 20 years, um... So yeah, if if it's something that you want to keep, you know, long term or um, something really, really important, then obviously it, you're probably better off just using standard ink printer. Um, but this is really fun for like if you want to send, you know, um, postcards or just like, you know, things like this, which I don't, you know, I'm not going to be kind of devastated <laughs> if this kind of fades over time. Um, but the other thing that really um, I thought it would be handy for, for those of you who are shop owners, is for shipping labels. So let me show you how it works, basically. So I'm just going to open up their app. One sec. Okay, so this is what their app looks like for Memo. And like I said, it is really easy to use, guys. So you've got these options here. You've got notes, scan, print images, templates, micro print, and toolbox. Um, so if you want to just print like a standard picture, you just go to print images. And I'm going to print this picture here of my daughter who is in center box. And it's connected via Bluetooth. So you've already like connected your phone um, to the printer and I'll just put it here so you can see it coming out and then you just press the print button at the top connect it to the printer and um, it actually prints oh maybe I haven't connected it one second <laughs> it actually prints really quickly um, yeah like less than 10 seconds basically so let me try that again right so when you press print it brings you up to this menu, um, I don't know if you guys can see that, so it, sh it says like what thickness, fine, medium, thick, um, thick is going to come out really really dark um, and it's almost like printed like dots, you know like tiny little dots, so I found that medium is the best setting for it, so that it comes and you kind of just tear it off or you can use scissors and cut it off if you want um, and like I said it is sticker paper um, so you just peel and stick it directly in your planner or you can trim around it as well um, I have used it in a few other places let me show you so I printed this floral image here as well and I did fussy cut around it um, and I just think it looks, you know, really pretty black and white design. Um, and that was just like an image I got, you know, off um, Pinterest. Just saved an image off Pinterest. Um, and then the other cool thing they have here I'll show you is the templates. 
So actually, let me just go through all the options that you can do. So notes, basically you write, you can write text, you could write a shopping list or um, I don't know, a bit of journaling. So, you know, if you're going traveling and you're on holiday and you want to journal while you're on the go, this is really, it's actually very light. So you could print out, you know, images and then type out text or you could, um, there is actually a way that you can edit, you know, like type on the picture itself. Um, so, but this, this option here for notes, you would just be using for, ty you know, typing. So I could write like a list of my highlights of the day um, or shopping lists. You could add tables. So it tells you like how many rows, how many columns you want, um, what kind of, you know, lines. And I've actually printed one of these out for um, like a chore, chore list, I guess, for my kids. So I just have like, you know, which one of, like I just have Monday to Friday and then I have empty dishwasher, empty bins, and then they just tick off once they're done. Um, oops. Um, again, you can, so you can select an image and then you can add text to it here. Um, so I have got some that I already did here. I saved in draft. So I just added this picture and I wrote poetry tea time. Again, you can print it. And then the cool thing about this is that you can actually save. Um, so if you made like a draft, so like my cleaning list, if I had made it, I could actually save that note. So I don't have to keep doing the same thing over and over again. I can just go to my drafts at the top here and it will bring up, you know, all the ones that I've done previously. Um, you can add emojis, and I've actually printed out a couple of these, and then my daughter coloured it in, which was <laughs> really cute, um, because it is just like, kind of glossy sticker paper. Um, so yeah, it's really easy to draw on, as you can see here. I, like, this is the, um, one of the templates I printed. I don't know where, which one it is now. Um, but yeah, and then she just kind of drew inside it. Um, so that's a really cool thing. Um, that's just the keyboard. Okay, then you have the scan facility. So if, say for example, if you've got like a massive like document, uh, A4 piece of paper or something like that, you can just take a picture of it um and yeah basically print that if you wanted that that's not a very good picture but um that's the scanning facility the print images i already showed you it's so so straightforward and then the other cool thing they have is they have this like templates um so they've got like lots of free templates. This is the fun one and they've got lots of to-do lists. So you just select a template and then you can like add to it basically. See? I'm just writing random things. Um, and then you would press print and that would print out for you. Um, so let's do one. Let's do today's plan. Let's do film laundry and clean my desk because so I've been seeing everybody <laughs> cleaning their desk on Instagram um, and you can just keep adding because what, what it will do is it will just print like as long as your list is it will just keep going um, but I think I'm gonna change that to uh, grocery shopping actually I do mine online so I'm happy with that, um, and I will just press print. And there it is. And I think I can definitely use this like for my husband, um, you know, if I'm giving him a shopping list, or if I wanna kind of give my kids their chores. Um, I actually, my daughter actually has her own planner, so I could use one of these and just stick it in her planner because 
if this fades, you know, in two years time, it's really not the end of the world. Um, and like I said, you can, so this is actually the white sticker paper, but it's really cool because they actually also sell um, semi clear, like semi transparent and transparent. And I have seen somebody use the transparent one on kind of like vellum or acetate. So you know how we would print, you know, like, oh, let me show you. Okay, like here. I could print something on clear, on one of these um, clear stickers and stick it on top of this piece of acetate or some vellum and it would look really, really nice. So I have actually ordered some of those. Um, I think I ordered them. Anyway, they should be here soon. Um, oh yes, yeah, so let me just finish t showing you these and then I'll tell you the price and stuff. So these are some of the frames and then schedules, um, you can also make like, it, it allows you to print banners, so like really really long kind of horizontal banners, so that would be great for like labelling boxes and stuff, um, you can also print a ruler, um, and then microprint, I'm, I haven't figured out what the difference is between microprint and normal print, but I'm guessing it's just that it prints, well let's see, let's do a test print I'm guessing it just prints okay yeah so it prints really really small like the font in comparison um, one second let me see okay um, and yeah so in terms of prices let me see because I have it written down um, so for the like obviously I'm in the UK so the price in the UK for this one um, and it does come in five different colors I think this one is the ice cream green one the price in the UK is normally $61.99 um, but it is on sale at the moment for £47 um, sorry I beg your pardon the price is normally £53 um, and it's on sale now for £47 um, and in terms of American dollars it's about $70 but it's on sale right now for $62 um, and you do get you know paper that comes inside um, which is really easy to actually load you just kind of put a roll put these ends on there and you have the paper facing upwards and that is kind of it, you're ready to go really, once you've linked it up to your Bluetooth. So yeah, I will put the prices up on the screen for you guys. Um, the refill pads, this pack of three um, is about £10. Um, obviously the semi-transparent and transparent ones are a bit more, as are the ones that are the 10-year or 20-year ones. So if you want like, you know, the kind of paper not to fade, the image not to fade for a longer period of time, they are about, I think they're about five pounds, five pounds more. So I have really kind of enjoyed using this. I'm still trying to, um, you know, work my way around it and figure out what exactly it can do because I think there, you know, the, there's so much more it can do. Um, just some of the things I thought of was obviously you know, if I am sending a postcard when I'm on my travels, which I often do um, to family, it would be really nice to be able to print an image and just stick that on the back of the postcard. And, you know, that's a little bit more personal than just, you know, pictures of like touristy stuff. It's a picture of the family or the kids at the place. Um, so I think that would be really nice to send in you know, a kind of personalised postcards um like i mentioned before memory keeping on the go so you know if i'm traveling and i'm trying to document our days um i can easily print out a picture and stick that in my planner um the other fun thing that i've been doing is i love to print out quotes from um instagram because I do like to write, obviously, I love pen and paper, but when there's a, like a massive quote like this, I prefer to print it. Um, 
so yeah like you can print things straight from print uh, like you know you save things from pinterest or instagram and um, you can immediately just print it and put it in your uh, planner or your journal and then you can you know write about it next to it um you can use like one second this is a another one of those kind of templates that came so I'm going to just cut around it and my daughter's going to write something in there she said so I'm not allowed to use this <laughs> until she's back she wants to use that um but yeah I'm going to kind of use it for meal planning a little bit um grocery shopping lists for my husband I'm definitely going to print out templates like this to leave around for my kids to write on I think it just kind of sparks their creativity when there's you know um already something there um i also bake a lot so i am going to make oops <laughs> um i'm going to use the notes section here to write out um ingredients for when i'm giving gifts to people um you know if people have oops allergies um or you know i don't know whatever just so people know like when I'm baking cookies or bread or anything like that I can just write out the ingredients and put that on the packaging of homemade gifts um, just makes it look a little bit more professional or nicer I guess um, or you can even do like use some of their templates to do um, you know like handmade oops Um, you could do, you know, like, let me see, here you could do handmade or homemade with love, something like that, print that off. Um, so yeah, the possibilities of what you can do on here are actually, you know, there's so much you could do on here. I think I'm only just beginning to, um see the possibilities myself I am going to play around with it um, a bit more this week and then I might you know if, if anything else comes up that I think is a really great use for this um, I will definitely let you guys know um, so yeah let me know what you think if you've seen this product kind of um, on Instagram I know when I shared it um, a couple of days ago quite a few of you did message me saying it's something that you've been looking at um, and so yeah I hope this review was kind of helpful like I said I have only just received it so I am just you know like kind of playing around with it myself um I definitely don't think I'm making the most of the app because I think there's so much more you can do on here that I'm gonna try and figure out and play around with um so yeah I hope that was useful let me know if you guys have any questions um, I like I said I did you know get this product for free in exchange for a review um, but I did let them know that you know unless I liked the product I wouldn't be sharing it because I don't want to just kind of say yeah yeah it's great if it's something that I don't like or I'm not going to use but I am really really impressed with it I do really like it um, and I've got some happy mail that I'm sending out to some friends this week so I'm going to test this out by printing their shipping labels <laughs> using this um so yeah i will see you guys next time thanks a lot guys bye